Here's Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. Back with you at 543, a chilly and frosty start. Your West Shore Home First Alert sky cams still highlighting dark skies as we're well before sunrise. Temps anywhere from the lower 30s to even in some cases inland upper 20s right along the coast. More so lower 40s. Temps today on the mild side, upper 60s in fact. Shower risk growing later in the day compared to earlier on. Those winds at times getting a little feisty, 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts possible there. Even tonight as the main line of showers and isolated storms roll through, gusty winds of course, and a couple of rotating cells we'll have to watch out for. Decreasing clouds for tomorrow, pretty stagnant temps overall. We'll say lower 50s to start to at best middle and upper 50s. So not a lot of temperature growth, but eventually more sunshine, especially by the afternoon. Composite radar and satellite showing you just a few clouds skirting across. Surface winds have been pretty calm, so that is why we're seeing more frost, I think, this morning compared to yesterday. But the main line remains out to the west, and by late afternoon and evening time frames, that's when activity is likely to pick up the most. So your first alert weather app is going to have you covered there. Notice the risk of severe weather, about a two out of five overall, uh, and that has been dialed back actually a little bit since yesterday. Not out of the woods when it comes to severe weather, but that threat much lower than, say, Wednesday when we had a, you know, broader system that obviously spawned severe thunderstorms and even some tornado warnings from mid to late afternoon and early evening. So here we go, taking you forward. Rain chances really increasing after sunset. About 7, 8 o'clock, first wave kind of comes through after 8, 9. A little bit of a break, and then that main line sort of disintegrating by the time it gets to us. Notice around 2 o'clock in the morning, a lot of the rain is done and that will allow for some gradual clearing heading through Saturday afternoon and aside from a couple of passing clouds Saturday night and into early Sunday, we'll get some additional sun intervals for the latter half of the weekend. Remember, it's a three day weekend for most of us. So even Monday looking OK, too, but gradually those clouds on the increase in the afternoon and we'll say more sunny in the morning. 60s for the afternoon. Note your wind shift here out of the southeast and those winds have a little bit of gusto to them. Uh, the main line coming through around 11 o'clock and here we go. Three, four, five, six. Now we start to see some cool downs, but remember as this cooler air is coming in, the gradual heating of the day is going to kind of counteract a lot of that. So that's why we'll see likely middle and upper 50s and not much of a change in temperatures. 10 day forecast will feature a more significant change in those temps. Here we go out day seven and eight, nine and 10 Friday, Saturday and Sunday of next weekend. Mind you highs lucky to get to 40s, but overnight lows in the frigid low 20s, even upper teens inland. So people, pets, any outdoor plants you have in the winter and also exposed pipes all area wide going to need some extra TLC.